Namaste friends, welcome back to my channel. Friends, in my previous video, I have shown you these grace earrings and in today's video, I'm going to show you a matching necklace for these beautiful earrings. So, here you can see the matching necklace for my grace earrings and I have named it as grace necklace. It is a neck pendant, and it is of about 14 inches in length and it will fit, your, fit in your neck very beautifully so and it will definitely look very graceful when you will wear it with these matching danglers so i have named this neck band as grace necklace i have made this neck band in one more colorway for matching with these earrings so this is the other colorway that I have made in this thick print for these earrings and in today's video we are going to make this matching brace necklace for our very dot green brace earrings so let us see what all material do we need to make this beautiful grace necklace friends for making our grace necklace in green color we would be using these crystal vitriol medium rivulis in size 14 mm then i'll be using these 11 o's these are muki opaque picasso turquoise blue 11 o's then i'll be using these 4 mm bicons in peridot green color here I'm using the Super Duos. These are in suit light green color. You can use a single color Super Duo or any two color Super Duos as you wish. Then I'll be using these pearls in three different sizes. All three are in green color. These are in 3mm size. These are in 4mm size and these are in 6mm size. Then I'll be using these 15 o's. These are Muki Duracoat Calvinized Champagne 15 o's. Here I'll be using this box clasp. You can use any other clasp of your choice. Then I'll be working with Muki thread and size 12 beading needle. So let's get started. Friends, we will start making our grace necklace by bezeling this 14 mm Rivoli crystal with pure test stitch. So for this, I'm picking up 32 11 o's in turquoise blue color so here are my 32 11 o's let us count 2 4 6 8 10 11 12 13 16 18 22 24 26 28 and 30 and 32 so these are 32 11 o's and now I'm bringing these down towards the end of my thread like this. And now I'm going to tie a double knot very carefully. Like this. So here we have made a ring with 32 11 o's and now I'm going to pass through all these 11 o's and just pull this tail in between these 11 o's of my ring like this. Again passing through all these 11 o's and pulling in the tail. Just to secure my thread in the knot very gently we have to pull in the tail and here you can see the look and right now I'm exiting through this 11 o and now I'm going to start my first row of beauty 
so this first round of pot so for this i am picking up an 11o and as i am exiting through this 11o i am going to skip the second 11o and pass through this third 11o and thus allowing the bead that i just added to sit on the one that i skipped in between again picking up one 11 o so here i'm exiting through this one i'm going to skip the second one and pass through the third one again picking up one 11 o as i'm exiting through this one i'm going to skip the second bead and pass through the third bead like this again picking up one 11 o as I'm exiting through this 11, I'm going to skip the second one and pass through the third 11. So here in this first round of POT, you can see that I'm adding the beads in between these beads of the ring. And the bead that I'm adding is sitting on the ones that I'm skipping in between. So here are the ring, our first round or the first row of the beads that is our ring has split into two one and two and this row which i am adding right now will become the third row of 11 o's and so i'm going to add all these 11 o's all through this round and come back and here i have reached the end of this round and i'm adding my last 11 o so right now i'm exiting through this 11 o i'm going to skip the second one and pass through this third 11 o so here after adding my last 11 o of this round you can see i'm exiting through this 11 o which was the first 11 o of this round and now i'm stepping up into the first 11 o that i added in this round so here after completing this first round of pot my rows have become three one two three as the first row of 11 o's that we added to make a ring has split into two so our ring has split into two 16 at the bottom here then 16 or upward and then 16 i added on the top which is my third row and now i'm going to add my fourth row of 11 o's so for this i'm picking up one 11 o and passing through this next 11 o that i added in the previous round again picking up one 11 o passing through the next 11 o again picking up one 11 o passing through this next 11 o in this round i'm just adding the 11 o's i'm not skipping any bead and here i'm going to add 16 11 o's so here you can see i have added one two three four 11 o's I'll be adding rest of the 11 o's and come back now here i'm adding my last 11 o of this round and stepping up into the first 11 o that i added in this round so i have added four rows of 11 o's counting from the bottom one two three and four in beauty we always count diagonally so we have added one two three four rows of 11 o's and right now i'm exiting through this 11 o i'm going to just pull my thread tight and here we have made this ring and now i'm going to add the fifth row of 11 o's so for this i'm picking up one 11 o and passing through the next 11 o that i added in the last round again picking up one 11 o passing through this next 11 o that i added in the last round again picking up one 11 o passing through the next 11 o that i added in the last round in this way you can see here i have added one two three 11 o's and i'll be adding all my 11 o's all through this round and here i'm adding my last 11 o of this fifth row like this and stepping up into the first 11 o of this row so after adding five rows of 11 o's you can see the look and let us count one two three four and five rows and now the sixth row 
that I'm going to add would be of 50 nodes. So here, after stepping up into the first 11 o of fifth row, I'm picking up one 50 no champagne and passing through this next 11 o Again, picking up one 50 no and passing through this next 11 o Picking up one 50 no again and passing through this next 11 o so this is my sixth row, which is of 15 nodes. So here in my sixth row, I'm adding these 15 nodes in between the 11 nodes, and I'll be doing this all through this round. And here I'm adding my last 15 no of this sixth row and stepping up into the first 15 no champagne like this. So here you can see after adding the 15 nodes, our ring seems to close from the top and here right now i have stepped up into this 15 o so after adding the sixth row i'm going to add the seventh row of 15 nodes seventh row which will be your 15 nodes so here again i'm picking up one 15 o and passing through this next 15 o champagne again picking up one 15 o and passing through this next 15 o champagne like this again picking up one 15 o champagne and passing through this next 15 o champagne so here i'll be adding 15 o's all through this round and here i'm adding my last 15 o of this round like this so this is the loop from the top so here in all we have added seven rows let us count one two three four and five rows of 11 o's and sixth and seventh row of 15 o's and now after adding this seventh row i'm stepping down and going towards the back side passing through these 11 o's and into this 11 o like this and now here first of all i'm going to cut this tail off and place my rivoli into the case very carefully like this so here i have placed my rivoli into the case and you can see the look from the top and now i'm going to close my bezel case so as i'm exiting through this 11 o i'm going to add <coughs> sorry one row of 15 o's so i have picked up one 15 o and here i'm passing through this next 11 o again picking up one 15 o passing through the next 11 o picking up one 15 o passing through this next 11 o picking up one 15 o passing through this next 11 o so here in this round i'm just adding 15 o's and i'll be doing this all through this round and now i'm adding my last 15 o of this round like this and stepping up into the first 15 o champagne that i added in this round and after adding the 15 o's this is the look from the back side and now i'm going to pass through this next 15 o right now i'm exiting through this 15 o i'm passing through the next one so just now i have passed through the pair together and now i'm going to pick up one 11 o turquoise blue and passing through the next pair of 15 o's like this again picking up one 11 o passing through this next pair of 15 o's the next two 15 o's 
again putting the one eleven o passing through the next pair of fifteen o's putting the one eleven o and passing through the next pair of fifteen o's so here we are adding the eleven o's in a pattern adding one eleven o skipping other adding one eleven o and skipping other and this way i'm going to add in all eight eleven o's in this round so i have added one two three four i'll be adding next four eleven o's and come back and here i'm adding my last that is the eight eleven o and into the next pair of fifteen o's like this so here I have added my eight eleven o's and I'm stepping up into the first eleven o of this round. And in this round, I'm going to add only eleven o's. So we have to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight eleven o's. So this is my first eleven o. Second eleven o. third 11 o and this way i'm going to add all my eight 11 o's and come back now here i'm adding my last that is the eighth 11 o of this round and stepping up into the first 11 o that i added in this round so after completing this round you can see the look and now in this round i'm going to add all 15 o's so again, I'm going to add eight 15 o's. So this is my first 15 o into the next 11 o that I added in the last round. Again, for my second 15 o, then my third 15 o, so here I'm adding all 15 o's and I'll be doing this all through this round and come back. And here I'm adding my last 15 o that is the 8 15 o and stepping up into the first 15 o that I added in this round like this. And here after stepping up into the first 15 o, I'm going to add 11 o's again in the pattern adding one 11 o, skipping other, adding one 11 o and skipping other. So this is my first 11 o as I'm exiting through this 15 o. I'm going to pass through the next two 15 o's together like this again picking up my second 11 o and pass through the next two 15 o's together like this third third 11 o and passing through the next two 15 o's together and this is the fourth and the last 11 o of this round and here into this 15 o and the next one together like this so here i have added all my four 11 o's as we have skipped one in between so we need to add four and we have added four and now i'm stepping up into the first 11 o that i added in this round picking up one 15 o into the next 11 o picking up my second 15 o into the next 11 o third 15 o into the next 11 o and the fourth 15 o into the next 11 so here i have added four 15 o's stepping up into the first 15 o and now i'm going to pass through all these four 15 o's and bring them closer at the center and close my bezel case so here passing through the second 15 o just bring it in the center third 15 o just pull it towards the center and the fourth 15 o like this into the center and into this first 15 o i'm going to take one more pass through all these four 15 o's 
this is the second one third and the fourth with chain hook into the first and now into this 11 hook into the 15 hook and the 11 hook into the 11 hook and the next 15 hook into these two 11 hooks and into this 11 hook these two 11 hooks like this into the 15 hook and into the pair of 15 hook on the top and now on the top we are going to create this floral shape as we have done in our earring so for this i'm picking up one 15 o champagne and pass through this pair of 15 o's like this stepping down into this 15 o stepping up into the pair of 15 o's picking up one 15 o champagne and passing through this pair of 15 o's like this stepping down into the 15 o stepping up into the next pair of 15 o's i'm picking up one 15 o champagne and passing through the same pair of 15 o's and thus creating this pickle stitch on the top and i'll be doing this all through this round and here i have stepped up into this last pair and now i'm picking up my last 15 o and passing through this last pair and here adding my last pico stitch on the top and after completing this you can see the look from the top and now stepping down into the 15 o and into the 11 o so here i have just stepped down into this first 11 o now i'm passing through the second and the third 11 o so after passing through this third 11 o i'm going to add one 15 o silver like this again picking up one 15 o silver and adding into this 11 o so on this third row that is on the edge i'm adding all 15 o's like this you can see and i'll be doing this all through this round and now here i'm adding my last 15 o of this round like this and after completing this round you can see the look and now i'm stepping up into the first 15 o champagne that i have added here and picking up one 15 o champagne three super duo beads and one 15 o champagne so here you can see i have picked up five beads and now as i as i'm exiting through this 15 i'm going to skip this second one i'm passing through the third 15 like this and now i'm going to pick up one 3 mm pearl and pass through this next 15 again picking up one 3 mm pearl and passing through this next 15 now picking up one 4 mm bicon into the next 15 again one 4 mm bicon and into the next 15 picking up one 3 mm pearl into the next 15 and one 3 mm pearl into the next 15 so here on this side i have added these six beads and now you can see i have reached the side opposite to where i have added the super duo so now i'm going to pick up one 15 and three super duos and 115 oh, the same set that i have added previously so this is the set of 15 oh's and super duos and now after exiting through this 15 oh's i'm going to skip the second 15 oh and pass through this third 15 oh like this and now on the other side i'm going to add the same beads two 3mm pearls two bicons and two 
3 mm pearls and come back. So here you can see I have added the same beads on this side, two pearls, two bicons, one pearl and now I am adding my second pearl that is the last one on this side and passing through this next 15 champagne and stepping up into the 15 and all three super duos like this into this super duo like this so after passing through all these super duos and adding these beads this is the look of our necklace component and as i'm exiting through this bottom hole of the super duo i'm stepping up into the top hole of the same super duo and i'm going to pick up one super duo and pass through the next super duo again i'm going to pick up one super duo and pass through this next super duo and now i'm going to pick up one 15 o champagne and pass through this 3 mm pearl like this again picking up one 15 o champagne and passing through this next 3 mm pearl picking up one 15 o champagne and passing through this next 4 mm bacon again picking up one 15 o champagne and passing through the next 4 mm bacon picking up one 15 o champagne passing through the next 3 mm pearl again picking up one 15 o champagne and passing through the next 3 mm pearl picking up one 15 o champagne and into the top hole of this super duo Again, picking up one super duo and passing through this next super duo, picking up one super duo, passing through the next super duo, and then one fifteen o champagne and into the pearl. And this way, I'm going to add fifteen o's on this side also, as I have done on the first side <clears throat> and adding my last 15 o champagne and into the top hole of this super duo now picking up three 15 o champagne passing through the top hole of this super duo picking up one four mm pearl passing through the top hole of the next super duo picking up three 15 o's like this and into the top hole of the bottom super duo and into the 15 o the 3 mm pearl and the next 15 o like this so here you can see the look and again i'm going through all these beads the pearl 15 o bacon 15 o then bacon 15 o the pearl 15 o the pearl 15 o and into the top hole of the bottom super two and again picking up three 15 o's and into the top hole of this super duo picking up one four mm pearl into the top hole of the next super duo picking up three 15 o's into the top hole of the bottom super duo like this so here after completing this round, this is the look of our grace necklace component. And now I'm going to pass through these 15 o's, pearl, 15 o's, into the pikin, 15 o's, 
into the pikon, the fifteeno, into the pearl, fifteeno, and into this three mm pearl, like this. And now, after exiting through this three mm pearl, I'm going to pick up four fifteeno champagne, like this. And I'm going to pass through. Right now, I'm exiting through this 3 mm pearl, and I have picked up four 50 nodes. And I'm going to pass through this middle 50 node just in front of the set of super duos, picking up four 50 nodes into the next 3 mm pearl and into the 50 node like this and passing through all the beads i'll be reaching the other side into the 3 mm pearl 15 os bikin 15 os again bikin 15 os through the 3 mm pearl 15 o and into the 3 mm pearl on this side like this and now again here after exiting through this 3 mm pearl I'm going to pick up 4 15 o's and into this 15 o just in front of the set of super duos picking up 4 15 o's. This 15 o through which I am exiting right now is the 15 o that we skipped while adding the set of super duos. So, after picking up the next set of 4 15 o's, I am passing through this 3 mm pearl like this and moving all the way through these beads. I will be reaching here this 3 mm pearl. So here, after passing through all these beads, right now, I'm passing through the 3 mm pearl. Now, after exiting through this 3 mm pearl, stepping up into the 15 o champagne that we have added in between the pearl and the super duo, and into the super duo, the top hole of the first super duo. Now pick up three. 15 or champagne and here I'm going to pass through this fourth 15 o of this set this 15 o and the first 15 o of the next set so here this pair of 15 o's at the center like this again picking up three 15 o's And into the top hole of the super duo and the next 15 o champagne like this. So here you can see we have added this embellishment in the set of super duos. And after exiting through this 15 o, I'm going to pass through this pearls, bike pin, and the pearls and reach this pearl on the other end. So here into the pearl 15 o and I'll be passing through all these beads and come back. So here after passing through all these beads, right now I'm exiting through this 15 o and now into the 3 mm pearl like this. I have reached the other side and now I'm going to pass through this next 15 o champagne and into the top hole of the super duo. I'm going to add the embellishment on this side as I have done on the other side. So for this I'm picking up three 15 o's and I'm going to pass through one, two, three and fourth 15 o of this set and first 15 o of the other set. Like this. Again picking up three 15 o's and into the top hole 
of the super duo. And into the 15 o like this. So we have added the embellishment on both the sides, and now after exiting through this 15 o champagne, I'm going to pass through all these four 15 o's of this set. Skipping the middle 15 o here to which we have added the two sets and into the four 15 o's of the next set. All these four 15 o's of the next set into this 15 o. And into the top hole of the super duo into the three 15 o's into the top hole of the super duo and the 4 mm pearl like this and with the front here after exiting through this pearl i'm going to pick up three 15 o's and pass through the middle 15 o here the top hole of this middle 15 o like this again picking up three 15 o's and pass through the pearl like this so we have added the embellishment on the top here and now into the super duo into these three 15 o's into the super duo 15 o and i'm going to pass through all these beads and reach the other side to add the embellishment as we have done on this so i'm passing through all these beads and i'll reach this super duo and come back now here i'm exiting through this 15 o and now into the 3mm pearl and into this next 15 o like this and now after exiting through this 15 o i'm going to pass through this top hole of the super duo into the 15 o's the top hole of the super duo and into the pearl and on the front i'm going to add the embellishment as we have done on the other side so for this i'm picking up three 15 o's and passing through the top hole of the middle super duo like this picking up three 15 o's and passing through the 4 mm pearl like this so you can see we have completed our brace necklace component our first component and in the same way i'm going to make the second component and come back so friends here i have completed both my components of grace necklace and now we are going to attach these two components so here you can see the thread exiting from this component so i'll keep it on the other side and take this side of this component and here i have this thread and now i'm going to add i'm going to connect this side to the other component so here you can see Right now, I'm exiting through this 4 mm pearl, and now I have kept the two components together here. As I'm exiting through this side of the pearl, I'm going to pick up one 6 mm pearl and pass through the 4 mm pearl on the other component, like this. 
again picking up one six and then pearl and into this four and then pearl on my first component like this So here we have joined the two components. I'm going to pass through all these four pearls once again. Keeping my thread nice and tight. Like this. And into or in pearl like this i have connected the two components and right now as i'm exiting through this pearl i'm going to pick up one 11 o turquoise blue and pass through the four and mm, six and mm pearl again picking up one 11 o turquoise blue Pass through this 4 mm pearl like this, again picking up one 11 o and pass through this 6 mm pearl and next 11 o into the 4 mm pearl like this stepping up into the 11 o and into the 6 mm pearl like this and now i'm going to pick up 315 o's 1 4 mm bike pin and 315 o's So here I have picked up the set of these seven beads, 315 O's, 14 mm bicon and 315 O's in this town and pass through the same 6 mm pearl like this. Bring it on the top here. Stepping up into the 315 o's that we have added with the bike pin into the bike pin again picking up 315 o's and pass through the 6 mm pearl like this pick up the next set of 315 o's and into the bicon like this. So here you can see we have added the bicon and the 15 o's on the top. And now moving down through these three 15 o's like this into this 11 o and into these three 15 nodes that we have added around the pearl on the component. Moving back into the next three 15 nodes on the other side. Into the 11 o Up through the 15 nodes. Into the bicon down through these 315 o's and the 11 o like this into the 315 o's down the pearl on the other component up through these 315 o's and the 11 o up through these 315 o's 
into the Python and down through the 15 O's and the 11 O's. Add this into the 4 mm pearl. So you can see the look after completing this round. And now out, moving out through this 11 O. And now into the pearl, the 6 mm pearl. Like this, pick up three fifteen O's, one four mm by ten, and three fifteen O's. So here you can see I picked up the set of these seven beads: three fifteen O's, one by ten, and three fifteen O's, and pass through the same pearl, six mm pearl, and into the eleven O like this into the pearl into the 11 o and the 6 mm pearl again adding the same set of beads 315 o's 1 by 10 and 3 15 O's like this and into the pearl like this and now stepping up into the 315 O's Into the python, pick up two fifteen o's, one four mm pearl, and two fifteen o's, like this. After picking up these beads, I'm going to pass through this fifteen o, the third one, like this, and into the super duo like this and here i have just finished up my thread so i'm going to tie a knot and add another thread so here I'm passing through this 15 oh So here passing through the 15 oh <clears throat> Like this. And into the three mm pearl into the swift you know, at the bottom. To this eleven o, into these two eleven o's, into the fifteen o, and here I'm going to tie a knot.
Okay. One more knot. And pass through. A couple of 50 knots and 11 knots. And I'm going to cut this thread off. And now you can see another thread from my another component. The second one, I'm going to use this thread to complete this joint here, the center component here. And now threading my needle with this thread, it's sitting out from the opposite side of the second component. And here you can see my thread is exiting from this side of the pearl, the 4mm pearl. And I'm going down towards the center through these beads, the super duo 50 nose. And into the 15 o 3 mm pearl, 15 o 3 mm pearl, 15 o and the pikeon and 15 o into the pikeon, 15 o 3 mm pearl. Like this into the fifteen three mm pearl into this fifteen and the super two and into this 15 only the first one on this side like this now again i'm going to pick up two 15 o's one 4 mm pearl and two 15 o's the set of these five beads and pass through the bikon like this again picking up two 15 nodes, 4 mm pearl, and 2 15 nodes, the same set of beads, and here into 1, 2, and 3, this 15 node at the end, like this, and into the super duo. Into the center super duo and the bottom hole of the next super duo, like this, into the first 15 o of this set, like this. And now again, picking up the set of five beads to 15 o, one four mm pearl, and two 15 o's, like this, and into the five pin, like this. So here we have added the set of beads, and you can see the look from the front and now after exiting through this 4mm bikin and this 15 o I'm going down through these three 15 o's like this into the 11 o and into the three 15 o's like this up through these three 15 o's and the 11 o's into the three 15 o's here 
this fourth 50 node and the pipe in and this 50 node the three beads 50 node pipe in and the 50 node down through these three 50 nodes and into the 11 node into these three 50 nodes Through these three 15 nodes into the 11 o into these three 15 nodes into the 15 o pipe pin and the 15 o like this so you can see the finished look of the center component and now down through these 15 nodes the 11 o and the 4 mm pearl into the 4 mm pearl and now you can see I'm exiting through this 4 mm pearl and into the super duo these three 15 o's that we added with the super duo into the super duo and the next 15 o you can see right now I'm exiting through this 15 or next to the super duo. Like this. Now after exiting through that 15 oh, I have picked up an 11 oh, 3 4 mm pearl, 1 bicon and 3 4 mm pearl and one eleven o. So here you can see as I'm exiting through this fifteen o. After adding these beads, I'm going to pass through this fifteen o. The fifteen o on the other side, in between the pearl and the super duo, moving down through these beads. All these beads. into these pearls, 11 o's, piping again into the 15 o and into the next 3 mm pearl like this. So here we have added these pearls in the, in the center here and after exiting through this 3 mm pearl passing through the 15 o like this now here again, I have finished the other thread also. So I'm just going to tie a knot and add a new thread. So here, after exiting through this 3mm pearl, friends, I'm just showing you the ways how we can just 
use small threads and make our necklace because if we use the long threads it gets tangled up in between and it becomes difficult to continue with those threads so it also get frayed up so i'm just passing through the after passing through this 15 oh i'm just passing through this 11 oh And into eleven o. Into these two eleven o's. Into the fifteen o. And a knot like this. And pass through the fifteen oh, eleven oh, and eleven oh. And now we can cut our thread off like this. Our center part is not yet complete. We are going to add another thread and then we will complete the center part here. Now friends, I have taken about six feet of length of my thread and now I'm going to attach it to my component. So here you can see I'm passing through these 11 O's at the back of one of the component into this 11 O into the 15 O and here tying a knot in between these 15 O's I'm going to use the same thread for making the string on one side and for making the string on the other side I'm going to add another thread because this won't be sufficient to make the string on both the sides. So here after tying the double knot into the 15 -0. 11 and this next 15 into this 15 into the 11 and the next 15 into the 11 And here into this 11 o you can see. So I have reached this side. Now into this 15 o into this 3 mm pearl. And into this 15 o champagne. So let us first cut the tail off. And now you can see right now I'm exiting through this 15 o just next, next to the 15 o to which I added this string of pearls. And now after exiting through this 15 o, I'm going to pick up an 11 or champagne three so these are the beads one 11 or three 
4 mm pearls, 1 4 mm bicon, 1 6 mm pearl, then again 1 4 mm bicon and 3 6 3 4 mm pearl and 1 11 mm. 4 mm bicon, 3 4 mm pearl and 1 11 mm and bringing these down like this. So you can see the pearls and the beads I have added. 11 mm, 3 pearls, 1 bicon, 1 6 mm pearl, 1 4 mm bicon, 3 4 mm pearls and 1 11 mm. And now I'm going to pass through this 15 mm on the other side. Like this. This way. And again, passing through these pearls, back into these pearls, the 11 0 the pearls, enter the, all these pearls, icons, 6 mm pearls. Icons and to the eleven o like this and into this fifteen o This is the problem while working with longer threads. Just come back. And here you can see I have passed through this 15 o and you can see the look of our necklace, the center part of our necklace. And now we are going to attach the string. So you as I'm exiting through this 15 o champagne, I'm going to pass through this 15 o down. Here yeah. and into this eleven o this three mm pearl and fifteen o's like this into the bicon. Dino into the pearl and fifteen o into this pearl and the next fifteen o into the super duo. The top hole of the super duo and into these three fifteen o's into the top hole of the super duo, the four mm pearl. So I have reached the end here and I'm going to attach my string so after exiting through this pearl i'm going to pick up one 15 o three super duos and one 15 o so i have picked up these beads i'm going to pass through the pearl like this once again passing through these beads All the five beads 
into the bowl like this stepping up into the 15 o now picking up three 15 o champagne pass through the top hole of the super duo pick up one super duo pass through the top hole of the second super duo again pick up one super duo and pass through the next super duo now pick up three fifteen or champagne into the fifteen o with the added next to the super duo like this into the four mm pearl like this into these three fifteen o's up through these three fifteen o's into the four mm pearl like this up through all these four fifteenos into the top hole of the super duo picking up three fifteenos into the top hole of this super duo Picking up one four mm pearl into the top hole of this second super duo on the top here. Picking up three fifteen o's into the top hole of the bottom super duo like this into the four fifteen o's. into the pearl up through the four fifteeners into the top hole of the super duo into these three fifteeners into the top hole of the super duo and the four mm like this so you can see we have attached our first component of our string and now as i'm exiting through this 4 mm pearl i'm going to pick up 150 no three super duos and 150 no the set of same five beads and pass through the pearl like this taking one more pass through all these beads Taking the second pass from these beads is optional, but it gives a nice shape and stiffness to our necklace. So I just prefer to take the second pass and into the 15 o. Again, we are going to pick up three 15 o champagne into the top hole of the super duo, picking up one super duo into the next super duo again picking up one super duo into the next super duo like this a 
attaching these two super tools here, picking up three 15 o's into this 15 o that we have added with the super tool, like this, into the four mm pearl. up through the 15 nose all these four 15 nose and into the top hole of the super duo picking up three 15 or champagne and into the top hole of the super duo like this picking up one four mm pearl into the next super duo like this picking up three 15 o's into the top hole of the bottom super duo into all these four 15 o's and the pearl We have to keep our thread nice and tight here so as to get a nice finish for our string. It's a very sleek string for our grace necklace and it actually looks very graceful. So I just named it as grace necklace. Up through the super duo. Into these 15 o's. Super Duo and the 4mm pearl. So you can see I have attached two components and in the same way we are going to attach rest of our components. It depends on the size of the string that you want to make. Here I have made this necklace of about 14 inches length including the clasp. So I have attached 13 components like this on both the side including this one attached to the center component here including this one i have attached 13 components on both the sides so here on this side i have one two three components i'll be adding 10 more and come back so friends here i have attached all these super duo components including the one attached to our main component the center one let us count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen so i have attached all my thirteen components and after attaching the last component that is the thirteen component right now i'm exiting through this four mm pearl and now i'm going to pick up these 15 o's and 11 o's, 3 15 o champagne, 1 11 o champagne, and 3 15 o champagne. So I have picked up these 7 beads and now I'm going to pass through the 4 mm pearl like this, stepping up into these 3 15 o's, skipping the 11 o into the next 3 15 o's, pulling this up like this into the pearl now after attaching this one again i'm exiting through this 4 mm pearl and now i'm picking up three 15 o champagne one 11 o champagne and three 15 o champagne the same set again and i'm going back into the pearl like this again stepping up into the second set at the back skipping the 11 o down through the 15 o's pulling the 11 o's this 11 o up like this into the pearl like this Stepping up into 
these 350 nodes and into the 11 ohm. And now I'm going to pick up 350 nodes and my box class. Checking the front side. So this is the front side. So this is the front and I have to add this in this way. So here into the clasp like this. Now again picking up three 15 O's and into the 11 O of the other one like this. So here you can see I have just attached this clasp like this and now going back into these 15 O's all the 615 nodes and into the 11 o like this so here we have attached our clasp in this way and i'm going to take one more pass through the 15 nodes into the 15 nodes, the clasp like this into the 15 nodes into the 11 o back into the 15 nodes into the clasp and the 15 nodes All the 15 O's and into the 11 O from the opposite side, like this. And now going down through these 15 O's. So here you can see we have attached our clasp at the end, and now we are going down. So this 4 mm pearl into the super duo into these 15 o's into the super duo and here in between the super duos I'm going to tie a knot like this one more knot Like this into the next super duo, tying a knot in between these super duos, in this way into the super duo. Into the super duo and into the 15 o's down here into these 15 o's and the pearl and into the 15 o's and now I'm going to cut the thread off like this. So here we have completed one side of our grace necklace with its clasp and now we are going to add the string on the other side. For this first of all we are going to attach a new thread on this side and then we will proceed further. So here I have taken another thread on my needle and from the back I'm going to start into Starting from this 15 o 
the pearl and the 15 o and this pearl like this to the 15 oh. and now here I'm going to tie a notch in between the 15 o oh and the super duo oh. into here I have tied a single knot into the super duo oh. Into the second super duo, and I'm going to tie a knot in between these super duos like this. Just to protect my pearl from getting tarnished. So passing through on this side and again tying a knot into the super duo and the next super duo. Through these fifteen o's into these fifteen o's and into the pearl. You can just check by pulling a thread so it is tight, and now we can continue with our string. So I'm going to attach the first. This is our first component, super duo component, and I'm going to show you how to attach the second one on this side so for this i'm picking up 115 oh, three super duos and 115 oh. so these five beads and pass through the pearl like this stepping up into the 15 oh. And all three super duos into the fifteen oh. like this into the pearl. Into these three fifteen o's to be attached here to the pearl up through the next three fifteen o's attached to the pearl like this back into the pearl and into the fifteen o. Picking up three fifteen o's, stepping up into the super duo, picking up one super duo into the next super duo, picking up one super duo into the next super duo, picking up three. 15 o's down through the three down through this 15 o and into the pearl up through the 15 o's picking up 
350 nodes into the super tool, 1 4 mm pearl into the next super tool. Picking up three fifteen os down to the super duo into these fifteen os into the pearl. Through these fifteen nodes, super two, and the next three fifteen nodes into the super two and the pearl. So you can see the look. We have attached. Two components on this side and first of all we are going to cut the tail off so here I have attached two components and as we have attached 13 on the other side we are going to attach in all 13 components including this one on this side also so I have attached two I will be adding 11 more and come back now I have attached all my 13 Super duo components on the other side also. Let us count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So this is my last component on this side. And after attaching this last component, right now I'm exiting through this four mm pearl. And now after exiting through this four mm pearl. I'm going to attach the other part of my clasp to the pearl as we have did on the other side. So for this, I'm again picking up 315 o champagne, 111 o and 315 o champagne like this. And I'm going to pass through the pearl, stepping up into the 315 o's. Skipping the 11 O and into the next 315 O's. But before this, I'm going to pull the 11 O up and down into the 4 mm pearl. Just pull it tight like this. So here we have added this first set of 15 O's and 11 O's now. After exiting through this pearl, I'm going to add the second set. So again, I'm picking up 315 O's, 111 O and 315 O's. These seven beads back into the pearl. Like this. Stepping up into the 315 O's. Skipping the 11 O's down through the next 315 O's. Just pull the 11 o up and into the pearl like this, stepping up into the 15 o's and into the 11 o. And now we are going to attach the clasp. And now, as I'm exiting through this 11 o, I'm going to pick up three 15 o's, bring these down. My class. First of all, we are going to check which way we are going to use the class. So, this is the front side, and this is the right way of attaching the class. So, here I'm going, this is the front side. So here I am going to attach it this way. Right now I am exiting through the back side of the, through this set of 15 holes at the back. 
So here I am, and now I'm going to attach it this way. So I'm passing through this clasp this way, like this, and now this is the front. You can see this is the front side, and I'm going to pick up three. 15 o's and pass through the 11 o of the other set like this and back into the 315 o's into the clasp. And into the 15 o's at the back and into the 11 o from the opposite side like this so we can just check it once so we have attached it in the right way and now I'm going to reinforce my thread so I'm going to pass through all these 15 nodes once again so here I'm exiting through this 11 o I'm going to step up into these 15 nodes and into the clasp and into these 15 nodes into the 11 o up through the 15 nose and into the clasp and into the 15 nose at the back and into the 11 o from the other side like this so here we have attached our clasp and now we're going to tie a knot so for this i'm going down through these three 15 nodes into the 4 mm pearl and into the super duo and into these 15 nodes into these 15 nodes into the super duo and here I'm going to tie a double knot like this and tie one more knot into the middle super duo. And into the next super duo. Down through this super duo. These 15 nodes. Into the 4 mm pearl. Into these 15 nodes and into these two 15 nodes, and now we can cut our thread off. So, here we have completed our grace necklace in this beautiful green color. So, friends, here is our complete grace necklace set. With its earrings and when you will wear it you will definitely look very gorgeous and this neck pin is going to fit in your neck very beautifully so let us just go through the other colorways that we have made in this necklace i had shown you those colorways at the beginning of the video let us just take a quick look over the sets 
this is our grace necklace set and one more color we I had shown you incarnate color so these are the three sets three, three grace necklace sets and I hope you would love and definitely enjoy making this beautiful grace necklace set friends this grace necklace set is not very difficult very easy to make and i hope you would enjoy making this necklace set and of course love wearing it and gifting it to your friends and family so friends if you like my designs and my tutorials please do subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when i'll upload my next video thank you